Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello, my dear class. How are you today? Hi. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to another day, another class, another opportunity to learn. I hope you had a beautiful weekend. What did you do? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Cuente. Ajá. I play soccer. Oh, you play soccer. Good. In a team or with your friends? In a team. In a team. So, that's nice. Did you win? Yes. Uh, four uh, to zero. Four zero. Hey, congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. What is your position on the game? A middle field. You're a middle fielder. Good. Fantastic. Nice. Good vocabulary about soccer. Nice. So you play soccer. What else did you do? What about the rest? What did you do Hello, on your weekend? Good evening, Hello, good evening. What did you do on your weekend? ¿Qué hicieron el fin de semana? Sleep all day, sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You um, were I knew the body. <laughs> you were hibernating. <laughs> like a little bird. Estuvieron en hibernación. No, yo lo llamo el sueño de belleza. <laughs> because when you wake up, you are new and young. That's so nice. Okay. Hey, Diego, I like your shirt. Thank you, teacher. It's pretty awesome. I love it. I love all these Hawaiian things. I don't go to the beach, but I like the Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> to, to feel on the mood of going. Okay, so tell me, what else did you do? ¿Qué más hicieron? Cuéntenme. Solo uno jugó fútbol. And the rest? Good. Uh, you sleep, uh-huh. What about the other ones? Did you sleep too? What else did you do? ¿Qué más hicieron? A ver. Para que haya valido la pena el fin de semana. Did you work? I wash clothes. Are you wash clothes? Okay. It was your decision or obligation? No, my decision. Okay. <laughs> my socks. My socks. Your socks. Okay, good. It's like, I am going to do it. I am going to do it. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so I always say it was your decision or obligation, right? It's like, en mi casa mando yo. Cuando no está mi esposa. <laughs> Cuando estoy yo solo. <laughs> and then you think, no, me va a regañar, entonces mejor no lo hago. <laughs> Even when she is not at home. Miss Catherine, how are you? ¿Cómo está Catherine? ¿Cómo sigue? Ya recuperación, teacher. Hey. Ya, más o menos, pero ahí voy. <laughs> ya, ahora sí, ya. Que vengan esas minutas de limón. <laughs> No, I, I imagine, I imagine it was, I was exactly like that at the beginning of the curse. Who's done to ayer, ayer comencé a, a más o menos. Oh my God. So sí. I, I hope that you feel a lot better. Okay. But keep the medicine, keep the medicine and keep the, tra the treatment because that's the problem. That's the problem. We Salvadorians are like that. Todos los salvadoreños medio se nos quita la gripe y dicen, ah, ya no me tomo nada. Sí, porque... <risa> ahora ya quería que terminara el día porque no aguantaba. Ay, imagine. Como ahora me presenté a trabajar. Oh, my God. 
So I think it is better if you rest a little bit on your throat, drink a lot of water, <coughs> drink hot lemonade, drink a lot of tea, right? So it's like, déjese ahí consentir por todo el mundo. <laughs> yeah, I will say like, yeah, yeah. This is, this is a teacher, not the teacher, Nati. Y le puedo mandar una carta, si es posible. <laughs> Firmada por mí. Okay. Con el sello aquí de teacher, Nati. Ella me dijo. <laughs> okay, so keep, keep your throat ahí. Be careful. Let me see. Miss Janita, how was your weekend? Necesito varios sellos yo, teacher. <laughs> No, aquí yo vamos a ir haciendo aquí méritos para el sello. <laughs> Teacher Nati me dijo <laughs> with the paper. <laughs> no, it, it happens. It is very curious. I have. Solo dirá, dirá acetaminofén cada ocho horas. <laughs> <laughs> acetaminofén y sorbete. <laughs> Every eight hours. <laughs> Okay, good. So I am very happy that you are here and that you are all on time, that it's really nice. And for sure that you have the chance to actually continue learning. Did you have the opportunity to work on the platform? ¿Tuvieron la oportunidad de trabajar en su plataforma, chicos? ¿Avanzaron? ¿Sí o no? Yes, no? Un poco. Un poco. ¿Terminaron la sección uno al menos? Empezamos la dos. Yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Okay, good, very good. So that is very important because the progress is going to be, uh, it's going to be checked today and tomorrow. So please do it. Hoy, el día de ahora creo que revisaron su progreso. Igual el día de mañana lo van a revisar. Así que porfa, para que no aparezcan ahí en el mensajito de faltantes. No le vayan a poner la tortuguita de trabajar lento. No sé. <ríe> no le vayan a poner ahí el sellito de no trabaja en clase ¿eh? traten de avanzar traten de avanzar en, en las secciones ya varios de ustedes ya avanzaron la 1 la 2, algunos ya van por la 3 así que porfa eh, los ejercicios son sencillos ya, ya se fijaron, hicimos casi la sección 1 y 2 el, el día el día viernes, así que porfa avancemos en eso ¿okay? let's work on that eh, today and maybe if you have the chance to finish that will be perfect well my dear students today we are going to be working on practice we are going to practice a lot of speaking and we are going to interact with uh, the different sentences that we have studied we are going to practice speaking and we are going to practice conversation so we are going to do a little bit of uh, job interviews how they work and how they do it. So it is going to be a nice practice. Did you all have your manual? Yes. Tienen todo su manual ya? Todos lo descargaron? Ya no hay ningún problema con eso, ¿verdad? Good. Porque igual, no sé si a ustedes les envíen el comprobante del manual, pero eh, ténganlo a la mano. The attendance is important. I really appreciate that you are here and that you are on time. I think I am missing only one person today. I am missing only one and I will see who the person is. Well, we're going to start today with a little bit of practice and we're going to go to uh, the manual. We're going to start today with the manual and we're going to check on the different things. We're not going to check comments. Just give me a second here. This is what we were doing on the previous class, right? Adverbs of frequency. That's that was our main topic on Friday. And we were doing a lot of sentences with this. And for sure, we were doing on the conversations as well. Here we have a on the manual, you have a little practice of how much and how many. And we were doing this one as well. Do you remember the sentences uh, that we were practicing? Esta la hicimos el día viernes. Do you remember them? In the first one. What did we use in the first one? How much? How much? And we were saying that how much is for? 
When do you use how much? Uncountable nouns. For uncountable nouns, right? For uncountable nouns. And money, it's uncountable. Here you have how much. What about the next one? Paper. How many? Paper. Okay, how many paper? In this case, is it singular or plural? Paper, paper in general. What is something that we can count? ¿Qué es lo que podemos contar del papel? Las hojas. We can count the pages, right? We can count the pages. But paper, uh -huh, we can count the pages, the copies, and everything. But in general, paper, it's uncountable, right? Because you can say, if you use it, for example, to refer to pages, yes. Si lo usamos para referirnos a páginas en general, eh, ahí sí es plural. Then you say, how many? How many pages do you need? ¿Cuántas páginas necesitas? But in this case, you are talking about the paper itself, right? The group of things, the group, the big thing. How much paper does a printer need? ¿Cuánto papel necesita una impresora? Right? How much paper? They are not saying... If, if I have, for example, here, si la oración fuera esta, si la oración aquí no dijera paper, pero dijera pages, <coughs> ¿cómo, sería la, ¿cómo sería la diferencia? Aquí, primero tendríamos que cambiar das, porque tendría que ser do. Y sería how many, ok, déjenme bajar este aquí, y sería how many papers, how many pages, how many pages do a printer need? And you say like, I don't really know, depending on what you are going to print, right? How many pages do you need for the document? That can be a different example, right? Imagine that you are going to print your DUI. How many pages do you need? Si van a imprimir su DUI, how many pages do you need? One, one page. I, I need only one page. If you are going to print the, the manual for a machine, imagínense que es un manual para una máquina, how many pages do you need? It's a big thing, like 500 maybe, or 100 or 20, or I don't know, depending on the document. Okay, so in this case, pages, it's plural, and paper is singular. Okay, check. What about the next one? Hours. A How day much? does he work? How many? How many? Because you can say, I work four hours. And that's it, right? How many? How many hours does he work? How many hours does he work? Eh, okay. Be careful, Edwin. Tengan cuidado, Edwin. Yo sé que va en camino a casa. How many hours does he work? How many hours do you work, people? Eight, eight or hours. Eight hours. Okay. Eight Algo hours. que vamos a aprender este día y para todos los días de la clase. I need you to give me complete answers. If I say, how many hours do you work? What is the correct complete answer for that one? What will be the correct I complete mean, answer? I eight hour. I work I eight work. hours. Okay, that's a complete answer. So you say if you want to give me more details, so you say I work all day. I work all day and then you can give me exactly eight hours, right? And then you can give me a complete sentence, hours, right? And then you give me extra information, right? If you want to give me more details, but what I need, it's a complete answer, right? Information is on the internet. How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Because in this case, 
information is in general, right? How much information do you think is on the internet? If you are talking about the internet, you say there is a huge amount of information. There is a huge amount of information. What is huge? Huge. What is the meaning of huge? Enorme. Enorme, right? A huge amount is like, woof, I don't really know how much. It's huge. It's a huge amount of information. And this one, the word huge, you use it to express when something is bigger than normal, right? If you say, for example, how big is Parque Bicentenario? Ah, Parque Bicentenario is huge. It's like, I don't know how many blocks. Como cuántas, como cuántas cuadras cree que tendrá? Unas, no sé, o cuántas manzanas, no sé. Unas 15, más. Ya han ido, no han ido I nunca. Don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Ok, si nunca lo han visitado, los invito. No me pagan ah. por este comercial. <laughs> este comercial es gratis. But I like it. It's really big, right? It's like Parque Cuscatlán. It looks as small, but it's huge, right? When you walk and walk and walk and walk and walk, it's really huge and it's very big. So that is uh, the meaning of huge. What about the next one? Days a week do you rest? Um, how, many, how, much, how much? Days is plural. How many? How many days a week do you rest? I rest. Two Very days. good. I rest two days. I rest two days. Or you say I rest. A day and a half. A day and a half. Un día y medio. medio. I rest a day and a half. Let's see. I am going to ask different people, random people. Wendy, Beatriz, how many days a week do you rest? Um, I rest two days. Two days. Good. Diego, Jose? How many days a week do you rest? No comprendo la pregunta. How many days a week do you rest? For example, in my case, I work, I work, 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 yo trabajo, uh, six days. And I rest one day. Okay? Solo descanso un día. Well, I never rest, but yeah, one day. <laughs> one day. So, yeah. how many days a week do you rest? I read two days. Two days. Good. Very good. Yes. What about you, Dennis? How many days a week do you rest? I rest one day. One day. Good. Jonas? I rest a day and a half. A day and a half. Very good. Edwin Mauricio? I rest one day. One day. Janira Isabel? Yes. I rest two days. Three days. True. Ah, two. I said, oh, envy. I said, la envidia ha entrado a la clase. <laughs> Only two. Okay, good. Victor Manuel, how many days a week do you rest? No lo entendí. Okay. Es que ahorita entrando voy. Okay, estamos preguntando cuántos días a la semana descansas. How many days a week do you rest? One day, two days. Mm, two days. Two days, good. Luis Parrilla? I rest two days. Two days. Ronald? I rest two days. Two days, okay. So that is the example, right? That is the example. Who has children here? If you have children. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only, okay, four, five, six. Okay, así como. 
no los nieguen, no los nieguen. Hijo, hijo, per, hijo perruno, hijo gatuno, ¿no? Y ahí hay tu hijo perruno también. Hijo perruno e hijo gatuno. So, if you have children or dogs or pets, you don't have three days. You work all the time. En el día libre, papá, 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 papá. O en el día libre. <laughs> They never rest. I mean, you never, you never rest. So, it, it is something that happens like that. How many days a week do you rest? No, I never. I never have free time. If you have children, they go to, like, are you awake? Yeah. My son is like that. Mi hijo me dice, mamá, mamá, mamá. And he wakes me up, right? And I'm like, ah, ¿qué pasó? Está dormido. <laughs> And I'm like, estaba. Employees. What about this one? Employees. Is it How singular many? or plural? How many? How many? How many? How many? Because it's plural, right? How many employees does your company have? How many employees does your company have? It has. How many employees do you think Hanks has? Nine hundred. Nine employees? I don't think it's nine hundred. No creo que sean novecientos. One thousand. One thousand? Something like seven, that. Seven hundred. One thousand seven hundred employees. I believe that one. One thousand seven hundred employees. Okay. I think there are more. Yo creo que hay muchos, muchos más. But the ones that you can see, 1,700 employees. Imagine the lady of the cafeteria. Oh, my God. How many? How many employees does your company have? So, this is what we were doing, right? About events and activities. We did this one already. And we also did this one as well. Eso también nosotros ya la hicimos. The negatives, right? Remember that we were practicing the negatives on which you have the subject, the auxiliary, the negative, the verb, and the complement. We were creating the three forms, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. And in this one, we have Maria does not work at HPBC. If we want to make this sentence affirmative, how do you make it affirmative? Negative. No, ¿cómo la hacemos afirmativa? How do you make this one affirmative? María. María Wogas. María. HPBC. María works at HPBC. What about number two? Marcos Marcos stay late at work. Stays at work. What about the next one? Juan and Pedro. Juan and Pedro. Juan and Pedro. Right, 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 right. Reports. Right. 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 Just like that. Because. Because uh, it's plural, right? Juan and Pedro write reports. What about the last one? We send. We, 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 send, 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 send. we send, right? We send. We send letters. We, letter. we letters. send letters, okay? In this one, we don't say we do send. Porque si dijéramos we do send, estaríamos ocupando dos verbos. Y en este caso, el do not es el auxiliar negativo. Okay. We sent letters. How do we make the questions then? ¿Cómo hacemos preguntas entonces? How do you make the first one a question? Does Maria does Maria HPBC? Very good job. Excellent. Does Maria work work at, at HPBC? HPBC. HPBC. Okay. Very good. Does Maria work at HPBC? What about this one? Does Marcos, Does Marcos stay late at work? Does Marco 
Marcos. Ya estoy cambiando el nombre. Stay late at work. And there you go. Does Marcos stay late at work? Very good. And what about this one? Do. Do. Okay, do Juan and Pedro write reports? Okay. Juan and Pedro, right? Yo los sinteticé ahí. What about the next one? Do we send, we, we, we we send, let send letters? Do we send letters? Excellent job. Very good job, right? So, that's the way we make negatives, right? Tell me two negative sentences about two things that you don't do at work on the chat in Zoom right now. Two negative things that you don't do at work. I will send my example. I don't uh, prepare coffee. Mm, I don't speak English. What a terrible thing. You should. Two things. Tienen que mandar las dos de un solo. I don't speak English. English con mayúscula. Por lo que sé. I don't speak English. I don't prepare coffee. I don't... Uh, Answer the phone. I don't play soccer in my job. <laughs> I don't answer the principal phone. I don't cook. I don't like. No, no, no. I don't like snake. <laughs> yeah, Ronald. Dos cosas que no haces en tu trabajo. I don't play <laughs> Basketball. I don't eat lobster. No, no comemos. No comemos este langosta en el trabajo. I don't eat. Okay, separado. I don't eat lobster. Let's see. Let's see the other examples. We don't work. How come? ¿Cómo es que no trabajan en el trabajo? I don't speak English. I, I can't run at my job. Yes. I like to speak English. I don't like to speak English. ¿Cómo así? It's like in good Salvadorian. ¿Cómo está? Bien. Bien que bien, 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 bien mal, bien horrible, bien... Okay. I like to speak English. I don't like to speak English. ¿Cómo es eso, Jorge Anton? <laughs> I don't sleep in my job. Very good, Edwin, that you don't sleep in your job. Y Edwin en el baño, mi miedo. I don't sleep in my job. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. La cámara de los secretos ha sido descubierta. <laughs> no, también las cámaras del trabajo. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that. In my job, I can I can see in the cameras where people are. I don't see them in the place, but I see where they go. I don't talk. I don't see my cell phone. Really? Oh my God. I don't use the cell phone. I don't watch. Watch TV. Watch. Cinco mil, cinco mil. Watch. Ay, Luis, cinco mil de esas. I don't watch TV. Good. What about the rest? I don't text at work. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't eat in my time of work. Okay. I don't TV. I don't watch TV. I don't drink coffee. I don't run. I don't watch TV. I don't play video games. I mean, can you use, can you have your phone in your job area? Pueden tener su teléfono en su área de trabajo? No. No. 
Okay. Is it like like in the well, I know about Ila Sal, right? That they leave it in the locker. So you have to leave it in the locker as well? Yes. The locker, yes. Oh. Uh, you can use it. Okay, good. Benefits. <laughs> That's a benefit, definitely. I don't work on Saturdays. Good. You cannot have it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we need to remember something. Something uh, about the sentences. We need to remember the use of the apostrophe, right? You say, don't. We have to be very careful when we use it because it's like that. It is not like this. And you put it at the end. That is not correct, right? This is not correct. And this one, it's also not correct. Right? We have to be very careful with that. So in this case, this one is not correct. This one is not correct. And if you have problems with the use of the apostrophe, say do not. I do not. I do not. Or doesn't. With doesn't, the problem is the pronunciation, right? People say doesn't. And that is not correct because it is not like this. No es así. Y tenemos que tener un gran cuidado porque eso es uno de los errores más comunes. Y la gente dice doesn't. And it's doesn't. Okay, so you have to be very careful with this one. This is not correct, okay? Cada vez que hacemos una de esas, se muere un mini sopena. So please don't do it. This is not correct. And you say doesn't. And if you have problems to use it, you say does not. And just like that, right? Does not. That to me, good. Thank you for all the sentences that you sent me on the chat. I think I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't know it in my area. Okay, I do not eat in my area, right? I do not. Is it no? No idea either. I don't work on Saturday. Wendy, siempre pongamos el apóstrofe. And for the rest, I think they are correct. Good. Very good example, people. Very good examples, the ones that you sent me. Okay? And here we have a little practice, right, for the conversation that we were doing about the adverbs of frequency, right? I, You told me that you don't attend meetings, right? ¿Tienen reuniones en su trabajo? Yes? No? Yes. Yes. Okay. How often? Every morning, every Friday. One day on the week. One day on the week. One day on de mi trabajo no van a estar hablando no. <laughs> one day a week okay <laughs> when there is something wrong that is very common and you know meetings should be to avoid things going wrong right yo tengo reuniones con mis maestros para evitar que las cosas vayan mal no cuando ya van mal porque ahí ya no, ya no sirve de nada so <laughs> when things go wrong <laughs> solo cuando hay fuego <laughs> No, please. Okay, you attend meetings once a week. Once a week. Okay, let's leave it on once a week. And it says, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them uh, once a week on Monday but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. Just give me a second because I need, okay, there we go. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. With the microphone off, con su micrófono apagado, we're going to do the first practice. Repeat after me. How often do you check your email? Yes. 
with the microphone off right now. Ahorita vamos a hacer la práctica individual and then everybody together. How often do you check your email? I can see you. I can see you. If you don't move your mouth, I can see you. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yeah. Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, read the conversation. If you have problems with pronunciation, tell me. Teacher, how do you pronounce ch check, ch check, uh, check? Okay. Practíquenla toda, 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 toda. Si tienen algún problema de pronunciación, me lo preguntan. Go ahead. Questions? Questions? I don't do mischief. Uh -huh. Questions? Pronunciation? Michelle, yo tengo una pregunta. Ajá. ¿Cómo se pronuncia donde dice, bueno, en español creo que dice clientes? Clients. 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 Okay. Clients. Any other Thank question? Cuando dice, I often call, luego, ¿cómo es? I often call them once a week. I often once. call them once a week. Once a week. On Monday. So you say, I often call them once a week on Monday. Toda esa frase hasta Monday, hasta ahí vamos a llegar. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Hasta ahí, la siguiente. Do you call clients? Esa sería la última. Any other question? Questions, questions. Pregunten ahorita, ¿no? Cuando ya estamos haciendo la conversation. Teacher, me cuesta pronunciar horas. Which one? Uh, every time, every two hours, 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 hours. every hours. two hours, hours, every two hours, hours. every two hours. What is the where I try to check it? I try Probably. to check it as often as I can. As often as I can. I try to check it. To, to check, check it. To check X. Okay, I try to check it as often as I can. Okay. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Teacher, <laughs> I believe, I'm, believe, como es que le pronuncia? I believe, I believe. Uh, I believe. It is important, important. You don't say important. It's important. It's important to have contact with them all the time. 
It's important to have positive intent at the time. Okay, them. Okay. Y cerramos la boca, ¿verdad? Them. Mm -hmm. How often do you call your clients? Okay, practice with me. Hagamos la práctica. How often do you check your email? How often, How do, you check often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? How often do you check, often do you check your emails? Y ahora curioso, de verdad, como que quieren saber. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Teacher Nati, how often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Okay, teacher Nati, I have a question. How often do you check your email? How often do you check your email? Okay, como que de veras quieren así como indagar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué anda haciendo teacher Nati todo el día? How often do you check your email, teacher? How often do you check your email? De mi tío. Do you check your email, teacher? Every two hours, and you? Every two hours. Every two hours. And you? And you? And you? And you every two hours and you and two hours. Cuando regresamos la pregunta siempre decimos and you and you porque estamos esperando que nos responda. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, 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 well I try to check it as often as I can. Often, 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 well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Yeah, a little bit. And how often do you call your clients? And how often do you call your clients? How often do you call your clients? Clients. 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 I often call them once a week on Monday. I often call them once a week on Monday. But I, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. But but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Their order. Their order. Do you call your clients? Ah, sorry. Do you call clients? Yes. 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 I always call them first thing in the morning. I always call them first thing in the morning. In the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. I believe it is it's important, important to have, have contact with them all the time. the time. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, You're practice right. with your partner. Lo pueden mandar el practiquen con su pareja. Okay. Here we go. Practice with your partner. I know this. <laughs> practice. I know you can do it. Go ahead. You are going to practice with your partner. There you go. Okay, I just need to move Mr. Edwin. See? Uh, for. And, yes. Tengo una pregunta. And listen, John, al final, al final de often, as I can. Quisiera una pregunta si as y I se unen o se pronuncian separado. As I can. As I can. As I can. So it's separate. I often, I try to check it as often as I can. As often as I can. Yes, it is separate. Okay, I think that's correct. I only have one. Okay, I will move. Yeah, only one group of three. 
practice with your partner. Go ahead. Accept my invitation to go with your partner. Víctor, te llegó la invitación. Ahí estamos. Perfecto. nos va a preguntar de qué comprendo. Ya, ya le preguntamos a ella ahorita, yo creo que ya se va a presentar ahí. Ah, yes, hello. Tenemos una duda, si habemos tres, vamos a repasar entre los tres o cómo, porque Okay, good question. Good question. You are going to practice, right? You are going to practice maybe uh, you practice with Jorge and then you practice with Victor, then Victor with Jorge and then Jorge with Wendy. Okay, practiquen entre, entre ustedes, ah, se, se van rotando. Okay. Cuando yo llame al grupo uno, ahí ustedes dicen, va, voy, eh, Víctor y Wendy. Ay, nosotros lo vamos a hacer. And then you practice. Okay. Practice, okay. all three of them. Okay. Okay, Diane. Practice, practice. Dos minutos más de los teachers. <laughs> okay. I, I, I will see, I will ya see. Perdimos. Ay, ya perdí uno hablando con la teacher, yo sé. Continue, practice. Teacher, ahora tengo una duda de una, yep. de una palabra que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ajá. Uh -huh. Donde dice, I often call ten y dice once, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Once. once. I often once. call them once. Ah, once, once a week. Okay. Once a week, yes. I often okay. call them once a week. Okay, once. <laughs> once. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank practice, you. practice. Okay. You are right. You are right. Yo me trago en la Dale. Then, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as, as often as I can. And often, do you call your client? Off a call ten on a week on Monday, but I usually call ten on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Alguna observación, <laughs> <laughs> A couple of them. Tengo un par. Often, uh -huh. how often? So you say oh. how often? Curiosamente, lo dicen bien en la pregunta y no en la oración. So you say how often do you check your email? And you say I often call clients. So it's like I often, often, right? Y, y, y esta, esta, ¿cómo se pronuncia? 
Tang or Tam? Them. Or them. Them. I always them, call them say. first always, thing oh. in the morning. Okay. I usually, I usually, oh, once a week, once a week. Uh, once a week. Uh, I believe it is important, important. important. Eso termina como, mm, como su lengua, important. topa el paladar, es important. Important. Important to have important. contact with them all the time. You say, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. So you're right. Every two hours. Hours. Every two hours. Every two hours. And you? And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Practice again. I will come back later. Okay, ya vuelvo. Sigan practicando. Okay. I have to check is offer and game. Eh, ¿Dónde me quedé? En, en otro. Ah, ya, ya. And how often do you call your clients? <coughs> ¿Cómo digo? <laughs> how often do you call your clients? I often do you call your clients. No, say, I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week. On Monday. On Monday. But I usually call them. 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 On Friday. On Friday. To check their order. To check their order. Okay, you say, but I usually. Do you say, I usually. Okay, so you say, but, 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 but. Voy a compartir mi pantalla para poderles marcar donde les estoy diciendo. Sí, porque yo estoy también aquí con otra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> con, con la factura. <laughs> No, it's okay. Don't worry. I am going to check here. Don't worry. Here, in this one, in this part. Okay. okay so here I go. <coughs> in esta parte, you say, but, but um, I, but. I, <coughs> uy, se, se nos va Catherine, se nos pierde. But I usually. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Usually, but compare the teacher. But us, but I, I usually, 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 I uh, usually uh, call, call them, then on, on Friday, Friday to check, to check their order. The order. Their. Their. Order. Their order. Do you call. Do you call. Clients. Clients. Okay. Aunque sea, vámonos despacito, despacito. Yo sé que nos cuesta a veces. Pronunciar. La pronunciación me, me cuesta, teacher, a mí. Un poquito. Y si es posible, usted escuche, vea la clase otra vez, vuelva a repetir las conversaciones, vuelva a hacerlo. ¿Por qué? Porque solo practicando se le va a ir mejorando sí. la pronunciación. Karencita, vamos con el siguiente. Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe it's important. Important to have contacts with them all the time. Important, important, important. So you say, no digamos tant, sino que important. 
como que no como que nos tragáramos el sonido ese important Important. There you go, you have it. Important. You have contact with them all the time. Y cerramos con you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, good. You're... Practice again. I will come back. Ya vuelvo. Sigan practicando. <laughs> Sigan viendo. Ah, no, ese es el TikTok. <laughs> Sigan practicando. Okay. A week on Monday, but I usually call them on the Friday, check the order. Do you call, do you call client? Hey, yes. you call client? momento. Edwin, can you repeat the paragraph? <laughs> Please. <laughs> well, todo. I, I often call them once a week on Monday. I often I often call them once a week on Monday, but usually call but them on I the, usually I usually call but them I usually but I usually uh -huh. es que muy lo digo, no. but I, el I, <laughs> sí, verdad? but I usually call them on Friday. Friday, Friday. The Friday. No Friday. No uh, Friday. Friday. Si es que cuando hay una I es como una A, ¿verdad? Friday, yes. Friday, sí, porque en el otro me digo... Clients. Client, esas dos palabras como que me cuestan. Client, la I se agarra como tipo A. Ajá, uh -huh. client. Friday, client. Ajá. Uh -huh. Lo repito otra vez, quiero ver si puedo. Vamos. I often call them once a week on the Monday. On the Monday. But, on the Monday. No, but, ¿Dónde está the Monday? On Monday. On okay. Monday. I have called them a week on Monday. Así. I often call them once a, once, week. Once once a week. Once a week. Once a week. It's once a week on yes. Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Clients. Client, client, client. Uh -huh. Mr. Ronan? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. Contact. Contact. And with what about the, the all, the... all the time, yes. What all about the, the, the second participation that you have? Well. Uh, Vamos, Ronald, con su primera participación. Well, I try to check. Ese, ese parro. Ajá, ese, ese quiero ir. Uh, well, I try to check as often as I can. As often uh, as I can. As often as I can. As often as I can. And how often do you call your client? Very good. Uh, okay, good, 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 good. Practice again. Practice, practice, practice. Lo voy a dejar que practiquen una vez más y de ahí me lo llevo. Practice, yeah. please. Okay. Ya lo vengo a traer. Voy a ver a Luis que está haciendo. Tienes un traductor vos para que te, que te corrija las palabras. Sí. Ajá. Hola. Ajá. <risa> ¿Cómo Muchas estás? Gracias. <laughs> ¿Cómo está es? <laughs> Go ahead, practice. Nos va a hacer pasar un... Ah, okay. nos quiere escuchar. Yeah, for Dejamos sure. Pasar. A todos los he ido a escuchar, por eso me he tardado. Vaya, Vamos. está bien. Go, go, go. Ok. Of... How often do you share your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I'm trying to share it as often as I can as of often to you call your clients. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have count with them all the time. You're right. 
You're right. It's okay. But lo, we, lo eat, al contrario. we eat <laughs> we eat letters. <laughs> Se me comen las letras. Porque, por ejemplo, decimos, how often, how often do you check your email, right? How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, oh. I try to check it as often as I can. I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Digamos no. Action since the beginning. Dale, inicia ahora. No para que vaya ya que hemos corregido. Vamos, vamos. Si no, no nueva corrección. How often do you check your email? Check, check. Check your email. Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them one a week on once, Monday. Once. Once. Once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I first believe thing. First thing. First thing. No, first no. You morning. say first. First, first, thing. Thing. first thing. In the morning. In the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Right. First thing in the morning. That's good. You are you are doing it a lot better than the first time. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Like practice once again. Lo dejo que practiquen una vez más y me lo llevo de regreso. Okay. Practice once yeah, again. Ya lo vamos a decir también. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> claro okay. que yes. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. Vamos. How often do you check your mail? Your email, your email. Your email. Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it his as often as I can. As I can. And you? As I can. As I can, and how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call the first thing in the morning. I believe he is important to have contact with them all the time all the time so you say i often all call the them first thing in the morning i believe i believe it is important to have contact with them all the time you're, you're right you're right very good job you're right practice once again practice once again and i will come back okay Hagámoslo okay. todo de corrido, pues. <laughs> Vamos, one, two, three, go. Let's go. Are you ready? Ready. Go. Action. How often do you check your email? 
every two hours and you? Well, I try to check it as, as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to share the order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Okay, very good job. The only observation I have, it's often, often. Don't say often. It's often. Como que quitaran la T. So you say how Como often? Te, te eliminar, uh -huh. How often? And first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning. Okay? Practice once again and I will come back. Practiquen una vez. Voy a repasar mi partecita. Yep. I of clients. Clients. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> what was your question? I have a question. Uh huh. It is well oh, and John? Uh huh. Well. What is well? Well. Okay. Cuando, cuando decimos and well, I... es como cuando decimos en español, bueno, eh, trato de uh -huh. hacerlo, right? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Uh huh. And la otra pregunta que tengo yo es en Ana. Donde uh -huh. dice, I often call them. Once a week. Once a week. Uh -huh. Una vez a la semana. Once I often call week. them. So you say, I often call them once a week. I often call them once a week on Monday. On Monday but right. I usually call them on Friday to check Friday. their Friday. Friday. Friday to check their order. Uh -huh. the, okay. I usually call them on Friday to check their order. 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 Do you order. call clients? Uh, do you call clients? Clients. Yes. Um, clients, uh -huh. Vayan. Es que mi compañero tenía preguntas sobre si era así la pronunciación, clients. Okay, Christian, any more questions? Sí, eh, una más eh, donde Dice, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. Contact. 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 I, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. With them all the time. Yes, you're right. You're right. Okay, okay you, let's, let's go back. Regresemos. Practiquen la última vez en estos 60 segundos que les quedan. <laughs> okay, thank you. Démosle, <laughs> Cristian. Una vez más. Students are going to come back in a minute. Es Luis manda la hermana le dice quítatele. <ríe> a la venta ahorita. <ríe> a la venta de qué. Recarga. Ah, tiene tiempo. Ah, no solamente recarga. Es todo un negocio. <ríe> Don Por eso se, se nos a Ronald dice. <ríe> Por el emprendedurismo. Todo mi pago va para donde vos me dices. <risa> Ay, no, qué cosa. ¿Y viven cerca con Ronald? No, él vive en Zacatecoluca, yo aquí en San Vicente. Ah. <risa> ¿Qué están hablando? <risa> A la vuelta de la esquina. Okay. Well, now, now El Salvador is only one country, so there's no problem. <risa> 
Sácate San Vicente will be. Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to the group. Okay, before anything else happens, I will call the attendance because it is important, right? To call the attendance. Important, important. I was practicing the pronunciation with your friends when you say important with the mm. Perdía Edwin. No, hombre, ese aquí está. Edwin. Sí. I don't listen. No, but where is it? No, Edwin Mauricio is here. What about Mr. Edwin Ernesto? Ah, está peleando con su otro device. Yeah, no. Rose. Hold me. Can you hold me? Rose. Like in the Titanic. Cabían los dos en la puerta. No sé qué pasó ahí. Okay. No sé. Me escucha, me escucha, teacher. Yes, I can listen to you. No, Tuve problemas con la computadora. Don't Mira, worry. Por favor. I can listen to you. Don't worry. Ronald was in shock there. Anxiety is in the group. No, but we can listen to you. Don't worry. Okay, bueno, I will. Presidente. I will. Que hable Ronald. Que hable Ronald por mí ahorita. Porque no I will call the attendance. <laughs> <laughs> Niño, déjenme pasarles. <laughs> Cristian Eduardo Rodríguez. Presente. Denis Gerardo Vázquez García. Presente. Diego José Alvarado Moss. Presente. I love your last name. It's so different. Edwin Ernesto Sánchez Gallegos. Present. Yeah. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua Hernández. Present. Jonis Vladimir Doño Santos. Present. Jorge Antonio Andasol Molina. Present. Karen Lizeth Blanco Vázquez. Present. Carla Patricia Morales Cartagena. Present. Katherine Rosibel Mejía de Alvarenga. Presente. Luis Humberto Parrilla Morales. Present. Norma Yamilet Beltrán Campos. Present. Ronald Ulises Alvarado Mejía. Present. Víctor Manuel Cruz García. Here. Walter Enrique Flores Lozano. Walter Enrique, Walter Enrique. Te acabo de ver, Walter, ¿qué te hiciste? Ahí estás. Wendy Beatriz Mengíbar Jovel. Present. En Yanira Isabel Fuentes Manzana. Present. Perfect attendance, people. Yay. Un aplauso para ustedes. Tenemos asistencia perfecta este día. That's great. I love that. You see, we need to do this every day. Así tiene que ser todos los días. Todos los días. Me no una estar. hora de, de receso. Se lo puede dar a las nueve. <risa> bueno, una hora, una. Ya, yeah, para ustedes es receso para mí, ¿no? <risa> Because I work from nine to ten. <risa> so, the, that was perfect. I like it. Very good. Les leí los diplomas, ya. Ya voy practicando para cuando les lean el diploma. Excelente. Yo creo que me he graduado. Denis Gerardo Vázquez García estudiará inglés avanzado en Insapur. <risa> Sí. That, would be, that would be perfect. Se convertirá en facilitador de inglés corporativo. Colega. <laughs> colega, colega. So that, that would be perfect. I would love to, to see that. Okay, my dear class, let's work. I need, I need Jorge Antonio. Give me one number from 1 to 17. Un número del 1 al 17. Uh -huh, Jorge, go ahead. Nine. Number nine. Number nine. It will be Carla Patricia Morales Cartagena <laughs> in company. <Amigo>. Carla Patricia. <laughs> Amigo. <laughs> I love that. Okay, Carla Patricia y su pareja. Eh, Norma. Norma. Vamos, let me, let me share the screen, okay? Let me share the, the conversation. How often do you change your mail? 
every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their orders. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I, I believe he is important to have contact with them all the time. <coughs> so right. Two mistakes. Good. Very good job. Reactions for your friends, people. Wow, wow, wow. Reactions for your friends. Te mando un corazoncito. That was fantastic. Very good job. First thing in the morning. I believe, right? I believe it is important to have contact with them. Okay. Norma Jamilet, give me one number from 1 to 17. Un número del 1 al 17. Uh -huh. Normita, give me one number from 1 to 17. Okay. 12. Okay, right. 12. Number 12. Okay, let me see. Edwin, Karencita, es la única cámara que no miro. Can you help me with your camera, Carmencita? Thank you very much. Number 12 says uh, Normita. Okay, I have all the cameras now. Good, very good job. Smile. Because <laughs> I am going to count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Victor Manuel, <laughs> you're the lucky one. Victor Manuel for mi camera 12. Victor Manuel and company, go ahead. Uh, ¿Quién era su pareja? Uh, era la Wendy y Jorge. Okay, go with Wendy. Okay. <laughs> How often do you check your email? Every two hours in June. Well, I try to share it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them on a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do, do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You're right. You're right. Good. Reactions for your friends. People, I will send them confetti today. Hours. Practice with me. Hours. I try. I try to check it as often as I can. Once a week. First thing i believe i believe okay victor give me one number from 1 to 17 numero del 1 al 17 vamos 40 40 40 14 14 uh -huh. good no no, <laughs> no they say oh no. <laughs> cristian rodríguez <laughs> Cristian Rodriguez. Action. Okay. Y contando las cámaras para ver cuál voy a hacer. <laughs> Go, Cristian. Action. How often, do, how often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. 
I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. All right. Excellent pronunciation, people. Nice. Only one mistake. First, first. Reactions for your friends. And for sure, I just love it. And I will send you an in love card. That was perfect. Perfect pronunciation. Good job. I love the pronunciation of important. Important. That was perfect. I, I loved it. Let's see, Janira, give me one number from one to 17. Number two. Number two. Yes. Diego Jose Alvarado Moss. <laughs> no. no because, because I was number two on the cameras, so you are number three because I cannot be. Bueno. <laughs> okay, Diego. Diego uh, and company. Jonis. Amo Jonis. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it uh, as often as I can. And how often do you call your mail? How oh, um, I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call client? Yes, I always call call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You're right. Great job, very good job, very good job. Clients, right, clients. Reactions for your friends, please. Si no saben dónde están las reacciones, justo donde levanta la manita, pueden verles un emoticono. Very good job. Manden corazoncitos. Yay, great job. You did a fantastic job. Mr. Diego, give me a number from 1 to 17. Sí, vamos a hacer el bien ahorita. Um, um, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Miss, no, Catherine already did it. Hey. Let's see. Edwin Mauricio Comayagua. Action. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call, call them on Friday to check the order. Do you call clients? <clears throat> yes, I always call them First thing in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. All right. Very excellent participation. Nice job. Reactions for your friends. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Good job. You did a very good job. Mr. Dennis Gerardo, give me one name to be the next one. 15. 16. Chin, chin, chin. Uy, hasta la puerta. Embrujada se ve. Chin, chin, chin. Karen Blanco, go ahead. Karencita, who's your partner? How often do you check your email? Every two hours in you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you check all your clients? Um, I often call day one a week on Monday. But I usually call day one Friday to check the order, order. Do you do do you call clan? Clan. Yes, I always call them first things in the morning. I believe you it are, is important. 
<laughs> to have contact with them all the time. You are, are right. You're right. You see, it was difficult for Catherine. And she said, like, me cuesta la pronunciación, teacher. But the most important thing is to do it and try it. Congratulations, Catherine. You did a very good job. Very good job. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but it's good. You did a very good job. Reactions for your friends. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Reactions for your friends. You did a very good job, right? With practice, with practice. A lot of practice. And don't say, no, es que no puedo. No, I will try. Nunca me digan, no puedo, no me sale. Lo voy a intentar. Okay, lo voy a intentar. Y ahí puedo. Okay, good, very good job. I need one final volunteer. Chan, chan, chan. Ronald and Edwin. Para que no se estresen, que no pasaron. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your client? I I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it, it is important to have contact contacts with them all, all the time. You are right. Very good job. Nice pronunciation. Fantastic job. Reactions for your friends, please. Yay, very good job. Who's the last couple? Vamos a ver si se fijan. ¿Quién es la última pareja? ¿Quién falta? Me. <laughs> Mr. Luis N. Who's your couple? Walter, right? Yes. Action. Go ahead. <laughs> How often? Often do you check your email? Me sale al revés la pantalla. <laughs> ah, really? Empezá otra vez, Walter, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I'm trying to check it as often as I can. And of often do you call your clients? I often call things once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to, to have contact with them all, all the time. You try. You're right. Very good job. Nice job. Nice, Walter. You are improving your pronunciation. Very good. Walter, estamos mejorando esa pronunciación. Me gusta mucho eso. I believe. I believe. Right? How often? So you say, how often? I often call them once a week. Very good job. In general, you did a fantastic job as a group. So... Please give yourself an applause. You did a very good job and a little start for you. Very good job. See, short pronunciation, short pronunciation practices that help a lot. Ustedes agarren una conversación, busquen una conversación en internet, agarren una de las que tengan aquí, agarren el manual, lean el manual en voz alta. That's going to help you a lot, right? Check the class, watch the class again, practice the pronunciation. It is going to be really helpful for all of you. So that was a very good practice. Say thank you to your partner, please. Agradezcale a su compañero por haber trabajado con usted. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you my friend. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you, my friend. Thank you, partner. Thank you, my partner. You're yes. welcome, Edwin. <laughs> That yes. is the- that You are is my the, teacher. Okay, you see, that was a very good effort. The best thing that someone can share with you is time. No hay nada mejor que les puedan compartir que tiempo de práctica. That was fantastic. We started this on Friday, right? We started the adverse of frequency on Friday. And 
we started with different activities, right? We were practicing a lot, the different things that you do. I often, I always, I sometimes, right? Remember the structure. I just don't remember. Can you help me to remember the structure of the adverbs of frequency? ¿Quién me ayuda a recordar la estructura de los adverbios de frecuencia? La estructura. Ajá. What is the structure? ¿Cómo mm. estructuramos una oración con los adverbios de frecuencia? Ah. Oh. Eh, I, 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 the subject. The subject. ¿Qué más le ponemos? Verb the frequency. The adverb of frequency. The adverb of frequency. What else? El complement. Verb. The verb. Verb. Complement and the complement, right? And the complement. How would you make a sentence with an adverb of frequency? ¿Cómo hacemos una oración con un adverb of frequency? Usando he. He. He always. Um, go to the park. He often takes a shower. He often takes a shower. ¿Cómo lo hacemos con we? We. Hardly, hardly ever. We hardly ever, good. We hardly ever what? We sorry. Uh-huh, we hardly ever. Drink coffee. We hardly ever drink coffee. We hardly ever drink coffee. <laughs> with the cup here. How do you make a sentence with I? I. I sometimes. I sometimes. I always go to work. I always go to work. Let's say I sometimes go to work. <laughs> because on Sunday I don't go, right? I sometimes go to work. So that is the, uh, the use of the adverbs of frequency. So I have here a practice that I wanted to use with you today. And well, this is just a little review of the different forms of third person singular, remember, right? That we use it with the adverbs of frequency as well, right? Con los adverbs of frequency, he, she, it, cambiamos el verbo a la forma de tercera persona, right? I have here a little practice that I need you to help me to correct, right? I need you to help me to correct. And I need you, please, to do it individually. Esto lo vamos a hacer individual. And I need you to take the notes of the corrections. Van a tomar nota nada más de la corrección. And, I mean, read it and try to analyze it and take notes of the correction. What would you change? ¿Qué cambiarían del par? Okay, so please, on your notebook, you are going to do this on your notebook. And here you have the example. I am going to make an example for you. Here, I did the first one, and you have it right here. It says, like, my brother always gets up at 6 a.m. And then, what will be the next change? ¿Cuál sería el siguiente cambio que harían ustedes? Always, always. Okay, my brother always gets up at 6 a.m. Llevémoslos en orden para que no les cueste. And then, washes, right? Washes with the S here. Washes his face. Continue on your notebook. Take notes of the changes. Vayan tomando nota de los cambios que haría. And then you are going to tell me, okay? But on your notebook, individually. Esto es individual. Let's go and do it. I need to see if you can identify that. Lo voy a silenciar para que no se den copia. Si no todo. Dejo en teacher, dale. Compartan, compartan.
Okay, what you are going to do is that you are going to check the mistakes on the paragraph. You are going to take notes of the mistakes on the paragraph on your notebook, okay? I gave you one example here. Gets up and washes. Then continue reading and continue analyzing. You have four minutes, 15 seconds. I don't know where is it, but it's here, I think. When you finish, please raise your hand on the platform so I know that you finish. When you finish, do the following. Put your hand up like this when you finish. Eleven seconds, then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Sober. Okay.
Let's see. I will close this one. Good, very good. Your friend, the pencil. Edwin, ¿puedo encontrar dónde estaba el lápiz para poner los apuntes? No. You can mark, okay? You can mark. Be organized, okay? No me hagas el gran relajo. Mark, please, the changes. Dice, yo no puedo manchar. Yo no sé por qué no puedo manchar con esta cosa. Para indicarle dónde más. Oh. Hmm. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you for being organized. Excellent. Thank you, Normita. Thank you, Luis Parrilla. Okay. All the rest of you, you can mark. Si ya lo marcaron, lo puede volver a marcar. It's okay. I need to see your participation. Okay, Edwin Mauricio, very good. Jorge, very nice. Okay, Johnny Sdoño. He has dinner. How will you transform dinner? You place. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, very good. He has dinner at 6.30, very good. Okay. okay, one more minute to finish with the details. Okay, good. Okay, let's check. Thank you to all the ones who mark the little words. Excellent job. So, I am going to read and then you correct, okay? Yo voy leyendo y ustedes eh, van corrigiendo. My brother always gets up at 6 a.m. and then washes his face and... Brushes. Brushes. Brushes his teeth, right? Brushes his teeth. After breakfast, he... Goes. Goes. He goes to college goes. at 7 a.m. He studies, 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 right? He studies IES, right? Because you don't use the Y. History in English, and he always passes, passes, passes his passes. exams with an A plus grade. Then he hurries. hurries, he hurries back home at around 4 p.m. and Does. Oh, does. Yes. does, right? And does his homework. Homework no se puede transformar porque es un noun. Y con eso transformamos los verbs. Before he... How? Has. No, that's correct. Has. Before he has dinner. That's correct. This is good. Before he has dinner at 6.30. And then he... Watches. 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 TV Watches. in the evening. And then he watches TV in the evening. The next one. In his free time, he plays, 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 plays tennis and reads, 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 reads magazine. He also has, this is correct, uh, a part-time job two days a week. He teaches. 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 English and Spanish at a local college, right? So that's it, right? In this case, we change and we transform only the verbs, right? This is the only thing that we can transform, right? The verbs, right? In the case of homework, you cannot transform homeworks, I mean, because it is a noun, right? Good job. Did you do all these corrections? Tenían todas estas correcciones que acabo de hacer justo como las dejamos? Mm -hmm. Yes. yes, yes, teacher. Perfect, teacher. Good, very good job. 
So there you have it. Let me just stop for a second here. And I am going to show you the next one, right? Here you have it in a very clean way. Yo se las muestro de una manera un poquito más limpia. And right here. So that's the way you have it, right? That's the way it is supposed to be, right? So that's the way it is, right? Gets, washes, goes, hurries, studies, does, watches, reads, teaches. Do you have any question with these verbs about meaning any word that you don't know? Alguna palabra nueva que no conozcan? Oh. Oh. He hurries back home, right? He hurries back home. It's like, las cuatro. And you go back regresar. home. Él se apura para regresar a la casa alrededor de las cuatro, right? He hurries back home. It's not like, ay, son las cuatro. Pero rato me voy. No, he hurries back home. Como cuando salimos del trabajo y vemos aquella gran nube negra. <laughs> you know, ah, oh my God, you hurry to go to your house. Okay, any other question? Any other question? Questions, 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 questions. Uh -huh. Questions? Any question? Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Ya no? No more questions? An A plus grade is a 10, right? Ese es un 10. An A plus. And he does his homework before he has dinner at 6.30, right? Good. If there are no more questions, we're going to do with the next exercise that I have for you. And it is this one right here. Okay, it is, I, where did I place it? It's right here. So, in this one, we have a daily routine and we're going to work on the first part, right? We're going to work on the first part uh, today because uh, it is only, let me see, we have only 10 minutes, but we are going to do the first part, right? We are going to work up here. In this one. I am going to ask, uh, let me see, Carla Patricia, help me with the first one. Let's have the primer part. Okay, go ahead. Que lea el primer párrafo. Que, you okay. can help me to read and correct. Me vas a ayudar a leer y corregir al mismo tiempo. Okay. John's daily routine. He is, he's a light boy, but he likes, likes, he, he usually get up, get, ahí sería el primero, porque estamos hablando de él, ¿no? Exactly. Sí, get to about six or Six thirty in the morning. Half there is a long clocks clock way wakes I sería el otro. Wakes him up. wakes him up. Wakes. Very good job. Thank you, Carla oh. Patricia. Escójame a alguien más para que siga. A Walter. A Walter, Mamiga. okay. Your friend Walter. You see, those yes. are the friends that I love. Go, Walter. Yes, a short one. First, mm, first he brush, brushes. Tiene que llevar la e y la s. He stayed, he stayed, teeth, and teeth. he stayed and shaved and washes his face. Washes uh -huh. tiene que ser ahí. Washes. Este es el único cambio. His face. Yeah. Sí. Utiliza el comodín del público. Luis Parrilla es el comodín. Ajá. Any other help? 50-50 dice. <ríe> que vote el público en WhatsApp. <ríe>
Is there any other verb, Luis, in this sentence that we need to change? ¿Hay alguna otra que hay que cambiar en esta frase? Okay. Sí. Which one? Okay. Shapes. Right? Shapes. Okay. Because okay. shave is another action, right? Shave. Shave and washes his face. Very good job. Let's continue. Uh, Walter, who's the next one? Can see you, Walter. Mm, Johnny. Johnny, okay. Johnny is going to go with this phrase, the pink one. Go, Johnny. And um, he get dressed, dressed, and go downstairs to have breath with his family. Gets. So you say gets. Then he gets. Gets. Rolls. And go downstairs. Uh -huh. Any goes. other change? Goes. Gets. Very good. Goes. And goes downstairs to have breakfast with his family. Fantastic job. Thank you, Johnny's. Johnny's, who's next? Can see it. Jorge Antonio. Okay, Jorge, go ahead. An easy one. Es le tocó chiquitita, mire. He always has Jewish trees, cereal, and lots of fruit. Um, uh -huh. Juice, juice. Juice, you say. Juice. Uh -huh. Juice. Any change? Any change? Any change? Juice. Juice. In... Sigo todavía. No, it's just that one. ¿Hay algún cambio ahí? Sí, no. Está buena. You can tell eh, me. Jugo. Luis. Is it a verb? ¿Es un verbo, Jugo? Él siempre... Tomarse. ¿Qué dice el público? Está buena. Está bien en la oración. 50-50. Dice yes or no. Is it correct? No, correct. Yeah, it's yeah. correct, right? It's correct. Mm -hmm. The sentence is correct, right? He always has juice, cereal, and lots of fruits. The only verb that we have is yeah, has. Jugo, cereal, has. And, the, and the has is correct in that case. That's good. Let's see, Jorge, give me another person. Otra persona, Jorge? Mm, Diego Moss. Okay, Diego. Thank you, Mr. Jorge. <laughs> you work on There you go. Mm -hmm. He takes a bus. He takes, right? He takes a bus. Um, to work because he doesn't like, no, like to drive. Light to dry, 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 dry. Okay. Um, he always ar arrives at his office. Okay. What does the public say? Is it correct? Yes. No. ¿Qué dice el público? ¿Qué le cambiaría? Uh huh. Work. 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 Yeah. Uh, to work. To work. A work to work. But to works. Uh -huh. Like. Work. He likes. doesn't likes. Like. He doesn't like. Likes. 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 Like. Te equivocó. Te equivocó, Diego. Qué pasa. Miren que lo voy a mandar a ver la clase donde vimos el third person. Eh, that's him in the picture with his wife. That's correct, right? There is no problem there. That's correct. 
He takes a bus. That's correct. Este cambio sí está bien. He takes a bus to work. Aquí tenemos un infinitivo. Después de los infinitivos, los verbos van normales. He takes a bus to work. Porque el, el verbo principal es take. Right? He takes a bus to work. Because he doesn't like. No podemos decir he doesn't like. Because we have an auxiliary negative. And after the auxiliary, the verb is normal. He doesn't like. To drives, no podemos decir porque tenemos un infinitivo. Si hay un infinitivo, el verbo va normal. Right? You cannot do it, right? He likes to drive and he always, in this case, yes, he always okay, arrives at his office before eight, right? In this case, he always arrives. That's correct. Okay. And that's good. I still have three minutes for other victim. Oh no, participation. <laughs> for other participation, let's go. Uh huh. Diego, who's next? Um, Janira. There you go. Nice day, bitch. Yo pensaba que no. Nice day. Es un abuso. Five o'clock. Explotación infantil. Go ahead. Pero me quise que se me hizo chiquito. Ah, ok, ok. Pero va a estar. Ok. Gracias. And five o'clock is this favorite time. Times of the day because because they finish work and hungry back home and see his wife and children again in time time and Days, no. Mm, okay. Tengo dudas, pero. No, it's okay. I, I am tampoco, obeying tampoco. you. <laughs> tengo dudas y no tengo pruebas. <laughs> ah, cabal. And um, en sí, antes de la esposa, uh -huh. sí, sí, yes. this wife. And children, and again, creo okay. que eso sería todo. Only those, uh huh. So, so. Publica... Oh. who is El verbo, who is uh -huh. he hurry oh, right? right? back. Work también y finish, finish. Okay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. he hurries, he hurries, he hurries back home and sees his wife and children again. Five o'clock is his favorite time. Aquí no podemos decir his favorite times porque es un verbo, right? Five o'clock is his favorite time of the day. Aquí tampoco podemos decir eh, days. Because he finishes, aquí sí, finishes wow. work. Aquí ya no decimos works porque ya pusimos el verbo principal mm -hmm. en tercera persona. He finishes work and hurries back home and sees his wife and children again. So there you go. In this case, yes, it is done. We're going to finish with the whole paragraph tomorrow, right? Vamos a terminar el párrafo el día de mañana. And I am going to share it with you on WhatsApp so you can have the chance to see it complete. Well, my dear students, it was a good day to review. Tuvimos una muy buena práctica este día. Una muy buena revisión de lo que hemos visto. So tomorrow we are going to work a little bit more okay have a wonderful night my dear class and i'm going to see you tomorrow for the next part of the class see you tomorrow see you practice bye. Tomorrow. Bye. bye bye have a beautiful night bye. take care bye, bye.